Good afternoon everyone, I am Srish. I hope everyone's doing well. This is a classic integral designed to look more difficult than it really is. It actually is quite easy. I have integral sine 2x divided by 1 plus cosine square x dx, indefinite integral. If you remember trigonometric identity, that numerator sine 2x can be rewritten as 2 sine x cosine x divided by 1 plus cosine square x dx. This is what we really have. This tool can be pushed outside and here it is. This is everything being rewritten in a better way. You will do a u substitution but the entire denominator will be your item. u is equal to 1 plus cosine square x dx. You have to do the derivative of this. You can do the chain rule. The derivative of 1, a constant is 0. But you can do the derivative of this. We can use a v variable. d over dv v square and then dv over dx cosine x. What do we have here? We have a 2v and then a minus sine x because the derivative of cosine x is a minus sine x. When we re-substitute the v, what do I have? I have a minus 2 sine x cosine x. That's what it is. du is equal to minus 2 sine x cosine x dx. When you push it onto the other side, dx is equal to minus du over 2 sine x cosine x. You could rewrite this as sine 2x. And you don't even have to open that up it would cancel out entirely but i've opened it up either you could have kept it as this and you could recognize this is equal to that and rewrite this as sine 2x or you can open everything up and cancel them out anyways when you bring the substitution in place of dx what will you have you'll have a 2 divided by a minus 2 i'll have a sine x cosine x divided by u and then here i have a du divided by sine x cosine x this 2 has been brought out over here with the minus. This cancels out with this. The only thing which remains, and obviously this cancels out, is a minus 1 over u du integral. That's what we have. We have over here a minus integral 1 over u du. And you know you're going to bring in the natural log over here and resubstitute the u. When you bring in the u substitution and the antiderivative, it will be end result minus natural log 1 plus cosine square x plus c. Here is our end result and it should be right. And that's it for this video.